And then I, I laid it all down again and I said, Lord, I will not bargain with you. I will stop bargaining with you. So the first time I came back was, um, came back to speak or held a microphone, wireless or not, was um, very recently. And I was at a meeting and I, I was, I had the audacity to tell God what, what, um, what was finished and what, what I was done with doing. And I, I announced to God, this is the um, almighty God, omnipotent, omnipresent, omniscient God. And I announced to him that I was very happy and thankful and thrilled that I would no longer have to travel to the Western world or the Eastern world or to anyone outside of my nation that adopted me, that took me in and taught me and keep me fed. My people, my nation, my, I'm adopted. It's very obvious that I'm adopted by these people. There's no question that I'm not natural born. No question. Nobody would ever think that unless they were absolutely missing a whole lot of EQ, <laughs> IQ, all clues. I got adopted by these people. But I had the audacity to say to God that I wasn't going anymore out here, that I was done. I, t I listed it off why I wasn't going. I had all kinds of reasons. I don't have time to tell you. It would take way more time than I have to tell you all the reasons I told him I wasn't coming anymore, that I was done. And then God's spirit fell on me. And he didn't say it with a nice, little, sweet, kind, oh, honey, let's have a hug. Snuggle up, snuggle up. Let's have a little hug. I love you so much. You never have to do anything. It's okay. I just love you. Mwah, 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 you sweet girl. He did not say that to me. He has said that to me. You're all, well, in my way, you know, the way that I, I had an impression that he was loving on me in such a way. But what happened was, he said, how dare you? How dare you tell me what to do with you? You already gave your life. What are you trying to do? Take it back? And he, I mean, and then, oh, it got worse. He went on and on. And then, and then he told me, or I had an impression that I should repent in front of everyone. And, and there wasn't a time limit on the meeting. So the repenting went on. And I'm sobbing, thinking, oh, God. And then I, I laid it all down again, and I said, Lord, I will not bargain with you. I will stop bargaining with you. Hallelujah. The reason most people are afraid to go out is because they know themselves. They know themselves, and there are so many reasons, so many excuses of why we can't go and do what God's asked us to do, whether it's traveling, whether it's staying, whether it's going with it. I mean, look at Leif. You look at Leif, you're like, that doesn't make any sense, but he loves it. 
Don't try to stop him and don't try to go with him unless God really spoke to you. We can't have any visitors. Don't try to get to where we are. You're not invited. You're not welcome. You were for years and years. Thank God because every Christian witness in every village before Al-Shabaab, ISIS came and started slaughtering people. It's a little heavy. It's real. I was so ticked for a while, like, why are you sending all these foreigners, meaning you? Why are you sending all these foreigners? They want cots and they want like a fruit basket. I was so, so disturbed and the Lord really got me. I, I mean, I mean, got me. He said, you don't know what, why I sent them. I said, no, I don't. He said, I sent them because they are meant to honor the people of this nation, the chiefs, the villagers. And he said, and you're going to go low, and you're going to sit and translate for all the foreigners. I'm like, I'm going to translate for the foreigners? It took hours and hours. And I said to the Lord, Lord, I'm much better suited just sitting with, in the huts, which I get to do when the foreigners leave. It's again, how dare you tell me what to do? Not knowing that this war would come. Not knowing that we had to go like that in mass. Not knowing that, that all that God poured out through all those little lives that went to get touched, to get moved, to, to give whatever God had given them. They were all seeds in the ground that would be needed for such a time as this. We don't always understand what's happening next and we don't always enjoy what's happening next. But we are going to get what's happening next. We are going to get it.